Welcome everyone to yet another video relating to the HP Prime. In this particular video I'd like to share with you how I managed to get the HP Prime simulator to run under a Mac environment. Many of you may have heard of Wine. Wine is not an emulator. It's a program that allows uh, Windows programs to be run under say Linux environments or Mac o OS and in this particular case I'd like to share with you how uh, you can get the HP Prime Simulator to run on Mac OS. So the first thing you're going to need to do is to install Wine and the easiest way to do that is to get a package called Wine Bottler. So you can find it at winebottler.cronenberg.org. Um, when you click on to download make sure you read the little pop-up. So basically it says you're going to have to sit through five seconds of uh, an ad and click on skip ad to actually get the download. So I'm going to hit download. So this is supposed to be an ad, but I'm using ad block here, and that's why you're not seeing anything. Please wait five seconds, and then you click skip ad. And then it should begin to download. If your download does not start in five seconds, well, it's just now started. But we could click on that link if it doesn't. So as soon as that downloads, Uh, I suppose I could I could probably cancel this because I've already downloaded. Let's see. Now let's pause that. So you basically um, open the the DMG file, which is basically what you see here. You click and drag that over to the applications folder, and then click and drag Wine Bottler over to the applications folder, and that will install Wine. Um, I recommend running, running. Let me go ahead and just close this out real quick. I recommend running Wine at least once as soon as you've um, installed it. And when it does that, it's, there are other little windows that and message um, boxes or windows that pop up. But at some point, um, you'll see this little icon up here, this wine glass. You want to go to Change Prefix, and you probably want to create some sort of default. Uh, prefix. Uh, I just put it in my uh, my documents folder and I named it Han underscore wine. Okay. Now the next thing you need to do is you need to get a copy of the emulator fo or simulator folder from a Windows machine. So it's just basically under the uh, usually in the C drive uh, program files and then under Hewlett Packard then you'll find HP Prime Virtual Calculator. So here these are actually the Windows files here. I just put it on my little USB drive. Click on Applications, go to Wine Bottler. Click on Advanced. And here I just chose this prefix that I created on, under Wine. You can exit this now too. So quit and what we want to do is we want to select the HP Prime file which is in my USB drive right now so I'll click on this click open and this is not the actual installation program I've tried using the installation program but it, it crashes or there's some issue with the install program um, that uh, so that method doesn't work and that's why we're having to uh, work with a, a Windows um, copy Anyway, click on this option here because this is the actual program and we're going to copy all the relevant files in that folder. Uh, version, I probably, I think, I would probably change the version number to whatever the version of the simulator program is and probably change identifier to HP. And then you're going to click on install. And instead of, uh, when it asks you to where, you, you probably want to put it maybe on your desktop and change this and then hit save. And once it does that, it creates essentially um, a .app folder. So in my oops desktop, ah, let's try, let's type that properly. Okay, so right here, this is uh, HP Prime Emulator .app, and uh, once that's done, uh, you basically just click on it and there it is. This is the simulator program. I'm, I'm 
purposely not calling it an emulator because it, it isn't an emulator. We're not emulating the ROM uh, at all. We're running a, a program that basically was compiled for uh, Windows platforms. Um, anyway, so everything seems to be working fine. I haven't done any file transfers or anything like that, but uh, I've done you know things like opening a program editor and then copying source code into it. Uh, I don't need that anymore. And uh, you know I installed my beloved Graph 3D app, um, so that's been, that's working nicely. And, and the speed is all right. I actually slowed this down so that. Uh, you can actually see the rotations. Anyway, uh, for those of you who you are using Mac environments and you want um, a uh, a copy of the simulator program, um, this is how I managed to get it to work. So thank you for watching, and I hope to catch you guys next video.